Like a baby fox. Top of the morning. Just a quick video because I haven't dropped one in a while. My living arrangements have been in shambles over the last month, so no excuses though. Here I go. This video is about one way of being a vegan activist. It's been working really successfully for me, and it is Uber drivers. Uber drivers are so fucking cool, man. They're usually open minded. Um, they're usually cooler than taxi drivers, I've found. Usually, I start the conversation talking about a documentary that I've just seen, and I don't tell them that I'm vegan. There's a few different approaches that I use, and feel free to run with any idea that you have in your head. You know, this isn't proprietary limited. I either use one of a few different tactics, one of them is where I act like I'm not vegan, and I've just seen the documentary and it's changed my perspective on eating animals. And I talk to them about what I've learnt. Um, and then if they offer any arguments, I act like I've already done my research and I address each argument. And then I tell them that I'm going to go vegan. And then I strongly suggest that they look into watching the documentary and consider going vegan. So that usually is very effective. Another effective method that I have is where if you start up a conversation and you talk about your occupation and stuff, I usually tell them I'm a nutritionist and then I talk to them about how I am an activist and I decided to become an activist recently. So I talk to them about that and I talk to them about why veganism is so important and it generally goes down really well. I have significantly planted seeds in over 50 people um, since I've become a vegan activist just through Uber drivers and I've convinced a handful of those to go vegan on the spot. Uber drivers are kind of stuck with you in that car ride so it's a good opportunity to say what needs to be said and keep them engaged with the facts fact by fact and and they're usually really cool people, so they're usually more open-minded, and they want good, like a good rating from you as well. So they're generally putting on that customer service, and that's cool. Like, it's cool because they're more open-minded in that state that they're in, and so it's a good time to talk to them about something like veganism because they're not as irrational as a standard civilian would be. That's one idea for anybody out there who's looking to become a vegan activist. I mean, essentially, you just got to look at opportunities to talk to anybody about it. Anytime, anybody, anytime. Anytime that makes sense. Um, the only activism that I'm against is the form of activism that involves no activism, where you are not active, where you're not talking about it. You're not, you're not convincing anybody or persuading and influencing anybody to go vegan. So I think we all have a duty to try and make this world a vegan world. If you care about animals, if you care about humans, and if you care about the planet, which we all live on and we only have one planet for now. So please stop being a fuckhead and look after it and convince others to look after it. Thank you. Um, the next video that I'm going to make is going to be about why I became a vegan activist, but also why veganism is the most important cause on the planet, why it is essentially the most relevant cause on every level, and I'll break that down in the next video, but take care of yourselves and be dope humans. Yes, it's true. I have a disdain. And if that makes me a fascist, I don't give a fuck. If only you could see the knife being put into that animal's throat every time you fucking eat it. Being unapologetically vegan because we don't have to apologize for not harming animals and for wanting a life of justice for animals. Anybody that bullies the vulnerable for no greater reason than pleasure, you are intrinsically ugly as fuck.